Hello, people. Good afternoon. We just have uh, five people connected. Then, Xiomara, give me a second, and then I'm going to answer you all the stuff you have. Yeah. And, well, I think the question is, is very easy about the, the project, right? Don't worry. I'm on it. Then I was checking all, all your jobs, okay? And then I want to let you know later on what is going to happen, okay? Because I just have some of the jobs in my in my email, okay? Then in two minutes, the class will start, okay? In two minutes, the class will start. One more minute and the class will start. We just have seven people. Then I'm in the last minute and then we can start. All right, so let's begin. Let's begin, guys. And then I'm going to go to the other screen to say hello. All right, hello, people. Good afternoon, then. Xiomara, you were asking me, like, many things. I'm going to tell you right now all the, the, the questions you have, OK? Well, let me, let me brush my hair. All right, good. Then we have only five people, which is not enough to start, OK? You said, Xiomara, hello, good afternoon. Santi Ulloa. Good afternoon, Emmanuel Mariscal. Good afternoon, then Yahaira. Good afternoon, and then we have Jorge Beltran. Good afternoon, then we have Sergio Romero. Finally, you are here. Good afternoon, Sergio. Then Lucy, hello. Good afternoon, then Jamilet, who is Perla Romo. Good afternoon, and then we have the last one, who is Hugo. All right, Hugo. Good afternoon. All right. Then this question, I mean, Xiomara, let's check it. It says professor or teacher, which is the same. I'm not sending the project homework. I already did it, but I didn't want to send it because I don't know how many words you want or how. Okay, listen to me, Xiomara. I told you that today, today, uh, Tuesday, it was the last day to send me the project, all right? I received your email, but you're in your in your email it says that you already finished with 600 words. That's perfect. Send it to me with, with 600 words is, is good. Guys, just to let you know that people who haven't sent the project yet, you have only today. Okay, so it's 4.04, .04, let's say 4, 4 p.m. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, that's it. All right, if you send it to me tomorrow, which is at 1 a.m., the project is going to be with zero, all right? The project is going to be with zero if you send it to me tomorrow, all right? So that's why I told you since the last week. Guys, what is a what, teacher, what is a project? Okay, the project, it's going to be your life plan, okay? What is going to be your life plan? What are you going to do in the future? What do you want to be in the future? Okay. If you want to buy a house, if you want to have a family, if you don't want to have a family, if you don't want to get married, if you want 
to, to get married. I don't know. It's going to be your life plan, okay? It's going to be for today. I left you more than four days to do it, guys, all right? I'm not, I'm not like, asking for a lot of things, guys, all right? Just your life plan in English. That's it. And obviously, it's impossible to write your life plan only with two lines, okay? With 10 words or, or maybe with 20 words. It's going to be impossible, okay? So I want to see your life plan, yeah, in at least 300 words, okay? That's all the stuff. Uh, yes, Yomara, it's okay, all right? 600 words is perfect, all right? You, you, you're doing your best, okay? Brian, good afternoon. Then Christian, good afternoon. Then Edgar Montoya, finally you are here alone because you're always with, with Chisco. And I have never seen Chisco anymore. I don't know what's happening with, with Chisco. Maybe Edgar Chisco is with you, but maybe remember that Chisco must be present here, not you. Okay? Very good. Uh, Santi, come on, man. I said it in the last class. All right. The project is your life plan. And that is going to be Christian YouTube. Man, you were here in the last class. Ask your classmates because you have only today to send it to me. All right. Please send it to me to my email today and be sure that it's not tomorrow. Okay. Because if you send it to me tomorrow, it's going to be like uh, not worth it. Okay. It's not going to count. Then Santi Ulloa, yes, it's going to be like on computer, in computer or by handwriting. It's going to be up to you. The last decision is yours. Okay. Then it says, which is one? Oh, Hugo. Yeah, don't worry. If you have sent it, it it's good. Uh, it's okay, Emmanuel. If you send it to me by, by word, it's perfect. Okay. I already have uh, the list of the people that I have that I have with the job. And then please send it to me, Pascual. Good afternoon. Then I just send it to you. All right. Very good, Shemar. If you have sent it to me, well, no problem, okay? Remember, guys, the project and your classwork and the homework and, and the notes you have here in these online classes, it's going to be your uh, score, your final score in the second partial, okay? Remember, today is the last day to send it to me. Very good. Now, guys, if you're ready, before we start with with, uh, with the class, I just want you to... to to pay attention. If you want to, to pray with me, pray with me. If not, just uh, listen to me and respect, okay? We're going to start. In the name of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, there is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost, amen. So, well, let's begin, guys. Remember that everything is going to be like uh, for you in these online classes. Okay. Then, Jimena, what are you saying? Um, all right. Don't worry, Jimena. We are here. Just, guys. Jimena, you already arrived. Please be sure that you already send me the project, guys, because if you don't, I mean, if I don't have your project in my email, you're going to have zero, okay? And I don't want you to fail, okay? So please, if you work, I have no problem. If you don't work, I do have problems, okay? So it's going to be up to you if you want me to have problems with you or with your score, okay? So please uh, be careful there. So how is going to be the, the way to evaluate you? Well, the project, the notes you have sent to me, and all the activities that I that I was asking for. I mean, if I have them in, in my email, you're gonna have a great and good score. Okay. Well, if you have uh, you haven't sent them to me, you're gonna get in problems. Okay. So now, guys, the um, the class is going to be easy. All right. The class is going to be easy. Because um, it's going to be grammar, but the grammar that I'm going to show you today is kind of simple, all right? So it's simple. Guys, I recommend you to pay attention and be careful of this grammar topic because it's, it's one of the more, I mean, 
not, not of the more, one of the most important grammar things in basic, all right? Because it's a little bit uh, complicated if you don't know how to, to, to write something or, or to do something in the tense that I'm telling you, you're gonna get in trouble, right? All the, all the grammar topics in this topic, we have seen them in the classroom, all right? So that's why it's going to be kind of easy if you pay attention in the rule to follow, okay? Then remember that if you have questions, I can answer you, but when I say only time for questions, okay? Perfect. Then over here, let's begin. We have here that, well, you know, my name is uh, Gerardo Bundes, and today is gonna be the place of English uh, grammar topic, and it's gonna be for basic, all right? High school basics, all right? Be ready with your something to write. Guys, remember that uh, all the notes you're taking, I'm gonna ask for them at the end of the class. And in this way, if you have all the notes, you will not have problems, all right? You will not have problems in in your evaluation, okay? Remember that you're missing this second partial and the third partial, which is going to be until June, I think, okay? Perfect. Now, let's begin with the topic, and the topic is... This is the topic, guys. All right, grammar, reported speech, guys, I really want you to pay attention. Guys, this topic is kind of uh, confusing, okay? This topic is kind of confusing. So if you don't pay attention, you will have problems, all right? Guys, if you have questions, let me know, all right? Just for, for uh, to have it something like kind of easier, I just want you to know that this topic is reported speech, obviously, and all the stuff you have to do, it's to report, okay? To report what someone else is saying, all right? Perfect. Uh, before we start with, with the topic, I forgot, I forgot to, to ask you something, guys, all right? So, in, in the beginning of this class, I'm gonna ask you, like, some of you randomly, yeah? And then this way, I'm gonna know if you are here with me or not, okay? So I'm gonna take two people because you are only 13 people here connected. You're supposed to be more, but we have only 13 people here connected, okay? Maybe 12 because, or maybe 11 because we have extra ones, okay? Then if I say your name, you have to tell me, you have to answer the questions that I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? And the question in this case is gonna be for, for Lucy. Lucy Gomez, Lucy Gomez, you have to answer the, the question in the chat, okay? The question that I'm gonna ask you, you have to answer it in the chat, okay? Please, Lucy, tell us and share with us what do you do? on the weekend, in this long weekend, since Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, what do you do? Teacher, I just stay at home, don't worry. If you stay at home, tell me what do you do at home, okay? So Lucy, could you please share with us what you did on the weekend? You have only one or two minutes to write it in the chat, hurry up. Be careful the rest of the group, all right? Because if I ask you and then you don't know, you don't have the assistance, all right? So if you answer, you have the point. Well, not the point. It's because you don't have the absence, okay? Very good. Lucy, you have only two minutes to answer this question. And then you have only one minute. Hurry up, Lucy. What do you do on the weekend, the last weekend? Hurry up, Lucy. If you don't answer, it's because you are not here. No, Lucy, we are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. One more minute, Lucy Gomez.
Lucy Gomez, could you please tell me what you did? One more minute. If you don't say anything, Lucy, you have absence, okay? You have absence and so sorry because you are not here. All right, easy, very good. Now, Christian, please don't start, man. I wanna blog you. I wanna blog you. Time out, goodbye. Time out. Okay. Oh, no, it was not you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was Lucy. Oh, my God. What did I do? Okay. So, Lucy, you said... Um, you said you were, like, um, doing something special. Yeah? No, Emmanuel, we have it here. Don't worry. It's because I put it in silence. It was, it was like, like an accident. All right. We're going to read the information uh, from Lucy in three more minutes because it was mine. Then the other, the other student that I want you to tell me what you did on the weekend. On the weekend, it's going to be for Santi Ulloa. Santi Ulloa, could you please share with us what you did on the weekend? Hurry up. Santi Ulloa, could you please tell us what you did on the weekend? Hello, Meli. Hi, Meli. Good afternoon. Welcome to my English class. I hope you take notes, please, Meli. Thank you. Santi Ulloa. Santi Ulloa, could you please? Very good. What else made homework? What else? Could you please be more like specific? All right, homework, you're telling us homework and watch movies. All right, only that, man, in three days? You didn't eat? You didn't, uh, like, well, you didn't take a shower? You didn't, I mean, something different, like on your cell phone or, or something else? Did you talk to, to your best friend or something else? Homework and watch movies. Okay, so that is kind of kind of um, kind of weird because it was kind of um, yeah, Lucy. I know it was a mistake. It was not for you, but don't don't worry. You're gonna be back in in less than 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 three minutes. Okay. All right. The last person that I want you to participate here is the next one. Okay. Yahaira, what do you do on the weekend? Yahaira, could you please write on the chat what you did on the weekend, please? Share with us, Yahaira, what you did on the weekend. But be you, you have to be more specific, not like, like the last one who was Santiago Ulloa. Homework and watch movies. Be more specific, please, Yahaira. Like, teach them or show them how to do it, please, all right? So I want to see, like, at least one or two lines. Please, Jahaira. Yeah. And then when you finish, we're going to start with the class. OK? Jahaira, we are waiting for you. Hello. I hope you're paying attention, because it's very important for you and for us and for everyone to pay attention. Hi, da. hello. Very good. Now we have the information from Jocelyn Vasquez, who is Jaira. All right. Well, I just do homework, did homework in past because you did it in the, in the last weekend. So, well, I just did homework and I saw, I watched movies. Uh, my brother and I, and or with my brother, and clean the house. I did not go out. All right, so sad. Well, if you didn't go out, it's because of this beautiful quarantine, which is something that I don't really like. But anyways, yeah. So, yeah, Lucy, you're almost back here. Okay. Uh, well, let's begin with the class. I told you that you have to take notes, and the slide is this one. Okay. Take notes. You have to copy all this slide, please. 
copy it and in one minute i'm gonna explain it okay so meanwhile you you're taking notes i'm gonna tell you what is the the, the exactly meaning of this reported speech okay then it says reported speech is a very useful grammar topic for the people in general okay what is this well this grammar topic will help us to report what someone else is saying or reading okay but like the rest of the grammar topics we have a rule to follow okay so if we have a rule to follow here then if we have a rule to follow here i just want you to memorize the rule okay the rule that i'm going to put you in the next slide is going to be the the um, the beginning i mean not the beginning if you have this rule you're not going to have problems to do the sentences okay pay attention just imagine guys just imagine that you are a reporter what is the the the, the job of a reporter or to report okay to report what someone else is saying okay to report what someone else is saying for example if you have like an interview with someone else what is an interview when you ask for something and then you have a person in front of you or people in front of you okay that is an interview it's a conversation between two or more people okay that is the the interview okay so to report what someone else is saying is like this i'm gonna ask you something it's an example okay i'm gonna ask you something like uh, i'm gonna go to this one because i want you to to look at it it's like if I if I ask you, um, for example, here, what do you do on the weekend? And then Jahaira said that she has done homework and she has watched movies with her brother and cleaned the house. She didn't go out, right? I'm reporting, yeah, pay attention, I'm reporting what someone else is saying in this case someone else is jahaira all right that is the main point of that is the main point of this grammar topic to report what someone else is saying okay very good so questions something now guys lucy can you write now or not can you write now or not lucy now, guys, in general, do you have a question? Just type no teacher. Or if you want to write no handsome teacher. Or no dear teacher. Tell me if you have questions about the, the principal meaning of report speech. Let me know, please, guys. Let me know if you have questions, please. I hope you, uh, you have to, to copy it in your stuff to write. If you're using... Um, if you're using, for example, your notebook, well, um, copy it in your notebook. If not, if not, just um, give me a second. If not, just in, in your word, I mean, in, in the laptop you're using, okay? Next one. I want you to pay attention in the next slide because it's gonna be the rule to follow, okay? The first one is like we have here the simple present, then this one, this one, this one, and then we stop here, okay? Over here. Then we have the rule to follow. In this rule to follow is uh, kind of simple. Guys, if you're gonna report what someone else is saying, if you're going to write what someone else is saying, you don't have to write the same information. Okay? All right, thank you, Brian. Thank you. Very good. Lucy. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to give you an example. Don't don't worry, Lucy, okay? By the way, I'm going to give you an example. Very good. Uh Hugo, take notes, please. All right. This this slide, the slide that I'm telling you right now, this one that I have in front of me, guys, is the most important thing. Pay attention. 
you're gonna write what someone else is saying, but depending on the tense the other person is saying, you are going to follow this rule, okay? If the other person is using the simple present, you're gonna change it into simple past, okay? If the person is saying in present, you're gonna change it into simple past, okay? Easy as that, but if the other person is saying something in simple past, you have to use the present perfect, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. The example of this one is like something in simple present. I have a dog, okay? Or I have homework. Who is saying that? Me, the teacher, all right? So you're gonna write, the teacher said, but the, the, the sentence is in simple present. Guys, if the sentence is in simple present, you have to change it into simple past, okay? Which is easy. You, you have to analyze first the sentence and then you have to change it into reported speech, okay? So, I have a dog. Change it into past, but you have to write. The teacher said that he had a dog. I already changed, I'm saying the same, I'm saying the same information, but in past, okay? So if you have something in the present, you're gonna change it into the past in the reported speech, okay? So the teacher said that he had a dog, which is past, okay? Example in the simple past, pay attention. If the other person, the person you have in front of you in the interview or in the conversation, and then you have to report it, if the person says something in past, you have to change it into present perfect. Teacher, what, I mean, I don't know what is the present perfect. Okay, the present perfect is have and have. We, we, saw, we saw it in the, in, the, um, in the conditionals, guys, okay? So, simple past, you have to change it into present perfect. What is present perfect? Have and has, depending on the subject. Remember, if you have he, she, or it, you have to write has, okay? So, if you have something in past, which is I ate or I went to the school, it's easier. I went to the school, you wanna write, oh, the teacher said that he has gone to the school. That is a present perfect. I'm not gonna say the teacher said he went to the school. No, because it's the same. The first, the first sentence is I went to the school or to school, right? I went to school. You're gonna write, the teacher said that he has gone to school. You're gonna change it into present perfect, okay? Awesome. Then we have over here the next, which is the number three. The rule number three says the present perfect. If you have something in present perfect, you have to change it into past perfect. Guys, something easy. If you have to change it into past perfect, you just have to, to change have and has plus, I mean, instead of had, okay? You have to put had instead of has and have, all right? What is this example? The example is you have played soccer. This is present perfect. You have played soccer. And then, teacher, that's present perfect? Yes, it is present perfect. And then you have to change it into, let me connect my computer because if not, it's going to be dis disconnected. All right, now, yeah, it is. Okay, so guys, if you have a sentence in present perfect, you have to change it into past perfect. The sentence was, you have played soccer, right? And then you have to report it, what the teacher is saying, okay? The teacher said that you had, with D, had played soccer. Yeah, you know, you know this game is like a role, it's like a, like a role play, all right? You're gonna uh, analyze the first sentence and then you have to change it into the other. Then you're gonna analyze the first sentence and then you have to change it into the other, depending on the rule you have in front, okay? So depending on the rule you have in front, it's gonna be the way you're gonna change it or you're gonna report this information, okay? And then we're gonna go for the fourth one. In the number four is kind of easy, guys, because if you have something in past perfect, like I had, I had run 20 miles, okay? I had run 20 miles. You have to rewrite it 
in the same sentence. You don't have to change anything, and I'm gonna explain you why, okay? Past perfect into past perfect, okay? The teacher said he had run 20 miles. That's it. That is the only one you don't have to change. If you have something in past perfect, leave it in past perfect, okay? Leave it in past perfect. You don't have to change it, okay? Well, before we go to the last one, which is simple future and, and, and then would, I just want you to know this. Guys, right now, we are in the present, okay? We're gonna go to the past. Right now, we are in the present, okay? If you go to the past, it's simple past, and then present perfect, and then past perfect, and then past perfect. You cannot go more in the past. This is the last one. Again, go back, and then you have present, past, present perfect, Past perfect, past perfect, past perfect, past perfect. You cannot say anything more using uh, another topic in the past, okay? So, analyze it. If the sentence is in present, you have to know that you have to report the information in past. If the sentence is in simple past, analyze it, and then you have to change it into present perfect. Teacher, what is present perfect? What is present perfect? Oh, have and has, beautiful. Plus the verb in past participle, okay? Then, present perfect into past perfect. You know, past perfect into past perfect. What am I doing? I'm going to the past. Present to past. Past, present perfect. Present perfect, past perfect. Past perfect, past perfect. That's it. That is the rule to follow, okay? I think it's easy for you to understand this topic because you have to, to understand the lines of the past, okay? We're gonna go for the last one, which is simple future. And then in the simple future says that if you have something in simple future, which is with will, like I will, uh, I don't know, say the truth. I would say the truth. The teacher said, the teacher said that he would say the truth. So what is this? The clue is if you have will, yeah, the only thing you have to report is not with will. You have to change it into would. Instead of will, you're gonna use would, okay? Guys, any questions now? Time for questions, parentheses for questions, guys. Parentheses for questions, please let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have questions, please. If everything is right, just tell me, no teacher, no questions, okay? So time for questions, hurry up. If you have questions, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. I'm waiting for your staff. If you have questions, let me know, please. All right, very good, we have the first one. Lucy, no thank you, Emmanuel, no thank you, and the rest, are you here? Very good, Xiomara, no teacher. Jocelyn, which is a Haira, no thanks. Very good, someone else, no questions? I hope you take notes. Fernando Beltran, finally you are here paying attention. Uh, simple future is like to say, yes, Hugo, is in future, man. Sergio, no questions, very good. Diego, no questions, Santi, you are, everything is okay, very good. All right, so if you have no questions, let's move on to the next slide, which is going to be kind of easy to understand. Very good. Jesus, no questions. Awesome. Great. Now, this is going to be the question for you. How to report the information? I want you to copy all this slide because depending on this slide is the stuff that I want you to do in the next activity, right? Pay attention to, to this slide, and this is the stuff. You have to, to, to change everything into a report speech, okay? Guys, if you pay attention, if you pay attention in the first uh, column, it says normal sentence, okay? It says normal sentence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it like kind of bigger, and then this way you can do it. Yeah, it's better to see the slide than, than to, to see my face, okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, so if you have, pay attention here, then normal sentence, guys. The normal sentence is 
the principal point for you to start. Okay? The normal sentence is the principal thing you have to do to start with the report speech. Okay? So what, what do you have to do here? You have to analyze. You have to analyze the tense of the sentence, okay? You have to analyze the tense of the sentence, all right? The first column, which is uh, this one, this one over here, this one over here is the normal sentence, the first sentence, you have to analyze it, okay? You're gonna check if it is in present, if it is in past, if it is in present perfect, if it is in past perfect, or if it is in future, okay? Then, if you have, if you have now, the report, uh, like uh, the first sentence analyzed, then you have to do the, the second step, which is the report speech, okay? In the second column, in the second column, in the other, in the other way, let me, let me do it. In the other, in the other column, you have uh, the report speech for each one. For example, in the number one says, he is in the bathroom. All right, he is in the bathroom. Who is saying that? I don't know, someone, a person, okay? In this case, I put, he said, okay? He is in the bathroom. Remember, this sentence is in present, so the rule is telling me that I have to change it into past. He said he was in the bathroom, all right? So you have to change the main verb into the tense that I'm asking for, all right? Well, not me, in uh, the tense in the topic is asking for, okay? So, if I have simple present, I want to change it into past, okay? He said, two little points here, he said he was in the bathroom, okay? Good. Next one, number two says, Mexico scored two goals. Mexico scored two goals. In which tense is this one, guys? What is this tense? Simple present, simple past, present perfect, or past perfect, or future. Past perfect, exactly. This is past perfect. So, sorry, simple past, it's not, it's not past perfect. It's simple past, guys, all right? We have only the simple past in this sentence, so that's why if you go back to the other slide, it says that if you have something in past, you have to change it into present perfect, and this is the way you have to change it, okay? Mexico scored two goals. I'm going to say, someone said that Mexico has scored two goals. Teacher, I have a question here. Why do you have in the first report speech two little points? And why do you have in the second report speech the word that? Why? Both, uh, like if you have, I'm going to go to the other slide. Well, here. Guys, if you have, if you have two points after he said or someone said, and then two points, and then you continue with, with the report, it's good. If you have he said that, and then you continue with, with the stuff, it's good too, all right? You can use both, but you cannot mix them, all right? The only thing you cannot do is to mix them, all right? Please. I just want you to pay attention here. That's why in the first one, I just have the two little points. And in the second, I just have the word that, okay? You cannot mix them. You can use that or you can use the two little points, okay? Nice. Number three, we have, she has gone to the party. She has gone to the party. This is in present perfect, okay? So if you have something in simple, in present perfect, you must know that you have to go more in the past, a little bit, like one step in the past. So if you have present perfect, one in the past is past perfect. The stuff that I told you guys, if you have present perfect, the only thing you have to do is to change has or have into had, okay? So I have, she has gone to the party. She said, I have, I decided to put the, the two points, she said she had gone to the party. Guys, if you pay attention here, the only thing that I changed is the word has into had. That's it. One is present perfect. The other one is past perfect. Okay? Good. And then finally, the last example says, 
You will run to the school. I mean, to the house, sorry. You will run to the house. You said that you would run to the house. Guys, if you have will, change it into would. Easy. Don't get in trouble, okay? Note, depending on the normal sentence, the report will be. It's the stuff that I told you. Depending on the first sentence, you're going to analyze it. If it is present, if it is past, if it is uh, future, if it is present perfect or past perfect. And then you have to report it following the rules that I told you in the other slide, okay? Any questions now? Time for questions. Time for questions, guys. Any questions? Any questions, guys? It's just easy to report because you have to you have to analyze first the, the, the normal sentence. And then after that, when you when you analyze the sentence, you have to change it into the depending on the tense you have. Okay, very good. All right. Xiomara, no teacher. Then Lucy, no. Beltran, Jorge, ah, Jorge. Uh, Fernando Beltran, no questions. Then Cristian, no questions. Emanuel, no questions. And Diego Enrique, no questions. Very good. Awesome. So that means that I'm a good teacher because I explained the topic good. If you have no questions, it's because everything is clear. Okay? Which is something like makes me happy. Okay. So let's continue. Guys, I want you to I want you to be ready because in the next slide we're going to put in practice dictation, guys. I'm going to dictate you well, not dictation. I'm going to put them in the slide, okay? And then you have to change it into reported speech, okay? Uh, I want to explain the activity and then you have to to send them to me in this moment. Okay, not in these 24 hours, in this moment. And the slide is the next one. Dictation. Are you guys ready? Number one says, number one says. Okay, Emmanuel, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to give you only. Okay, take notes, Emmanuel. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ready for the dictation? If you say yes, I can start with the dictation. Are you ready for the dictation? Hurry up, Emmanuel. Hurry up, Emmanuel. Okay, good. Nice. We have here Lucy Gomez, you said yes. Xiomara, of course, my horse. Emmanuel, ready, teacher? Emmanuel, ready, teacher? Okay, very good. So let's continue and dictation. Number one, pay attention to the slide. And this is the number one. There you go. They were friends. That is the first one you have to take notes, okay? They were friends. That is the first one. What do you have to do? Well, just copy it, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you what is the stuff you have to do. Ready? Second sentence. You have been to London. 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 Number three. She goes to the school. She goes to the school. She goes to the school. Let me know if I'm doing it kind of fast. Okay. If not, I want to continue like this. Okay. Number four. Number four says, you don't practice a lot. This is negative. This is negative. Please pay attention there. You don't practice a lot. You don't practice a lot. 
Next one. Number five. The number five says, He isn't my friend. He isn't my friend. He isn't my friend. He isn't my friend. Next one says, my teacher is the best one. What do you think, huh? Am I the best? Well, I'm not the only one. Yeah, I'm not the only teacher. So you have a lot of teachers. So maybe I'm not the best, but I'm doing my best, which is different, okay? All right, guys, activity activity well i'm gonna wait one more minute for you to copy all this information in your in your stuff you're using okay so guys i want you to analyze i want you to analyze the tense of the sentence that i'm giving you right now okay if you have the first, the first sentence says, they were friends. Well, what is that? Present, past, future? The second one, you have been to London. What is that? Present perfect, past perfect? Yeah, so you have to analyze it and then go back to the other slide or to the rule and then change it into report speed. In these ones, you, if you want to say, he said, or the teacher said, or someone said, it's good, all right? Activity, guys. This is the activity for you. And the activity says, Number one, complete the dictation. You have to change the sentences that I already gave to you into report speech, right? Change the sentences into report speech, all right? Then number two says, give five examples using the report speech, all right, in general. You're gonna write the first sentence, and then the first sentence, you're gonna change it into report speech. That is the activity, okay? Then, um, well, do not, do not send them to me right now. You have 24 hours, okay? 24 hours to send me this homework, okay? And please, guys, if you haven't sent the project yet, send it to me, okay? If you haven't sent the project, send it to me. Yes, Hugo, you can use Traductor. You can use it, Hugo, don't worry. Okay, so any questions, guys, about the, the activity? No questions about the activity. If you have questions uh, about the activity you have to do, just let me know here, because if not, I'm gonna say goodbye, because the, the class is almost over. Then if you have no questions, well. Yes, Lucy, I have your project, don't worry. The only, the only uh, job that I can remember now is Lucy, Yahaira, uh, Brian. I have Brian's one, and I think that's it. All right. So you have only today, guys. All right. Very good. Um, Xiomara, it says, uh, report speech uh, in... Yes, Xiomara, you have to change into report speech the dictation. All the, all the sentences in the dictation, you have to change them into report speech, okay? And in the other ones, you're gonna write five sentences. That is your job. I'm not gonna dictate, dictate anything. You're gonna write five sentences and then you have to change them into report speech. Two activities, okay? One is the dictation and the other one you have to do it at all. Okay? Emmanuel. This, this, uh, the classwork of today, of this class, you have only 24 hours. You can send it to me tomorrow in the afternoon, okay? Don't worry about it. All right, guys, unfortunately, it's time to go. Yeah, I hope you have no questions. Please send me the activity. And if you haven't sent the project yet, send them to me, okay? Like always, it's a pleasure to be your teacher, guys, yes. I have to say I really miss you. I really miss being uh, with you at the school. Yeah, it's 100% much better to be at school for me. Yeah, and well, I'll see you on Thursday in the second hour. Okay, Thursday, second hour, I'm gonna see you there. 
see you later guys i hope you enjoy the class and then i'll see you on thursday bye bye and take care see you later goodbye